Hey, Bulls fans. Adam Harry here with Chris. Say hi, Chris. Hey, everybody. Uh, we're going to take a look at the Everblight that you put together here. It's pretty sweet looking, man. So uh, just wanted to ask you some quick stuff. We haven't done a showcase in a while. So, um, yeah, let's talk about the, the Blightbringer, man. So what did you think of this model overall as far as, like, building it? Um, overall, it was a really easy kit to put together considering its size. I mean, it's just, you know, some big hulking chunks of resin. Um, there was some flesh that, flash that had to come off. Um, but, it, you know, it wasn't anything difficult that, you know, some clippers and a little bit of filing couldn't handle. Um, and they kept the metal components to uh, a minimum. You know, there's a little metal bit for the inner mouth, and then the, the little arms on its side are also metal. Um, but mostly resin, and it went together real well. Yeah, it looks like it fit together really well. It, it, and it is a big model. Like, this is a giant, that's like a big 120-something millimeter base or something crazy like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think probably to the top of the top spike is, you know, four and a half inches easily. It's it's very large model. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's talk about the paint job really quick. This is a really cool looking uh, Legion scheme that you've come up with. Uh, can you talk about some of the paints you used and some of the techniques you went through? Uh, yeah, I would say the big defining trait on, on this paint scheme is the uh, use of minor uh, oil washes. Um, I used some, some burnt umber um, oil washes, but Overall, it was a real uh, simple, you know, wash and dry brush type scheme, um, you know, undercoated white, um, did some purple wash, some dry brush on the white. And then the really thing that popped it and brought it to life was that um, that oil wash, which I encourage anyone who wants to uh, experiment with it, some interesting painting techniques to uh, check out oil washes for sure. Very cool. Can you talk a little bit about how you did the, like, the bone and all that, that uh, type of paint scheme on it? Uh, yeah, the bone, um, I went real basic, and again, the oil washes did a lot. Um, it's, I used uh, Rackarth Flesh um, from Citadel, um, and then basically uh, washed in um, with some, you know, some brown washes, and then I used uh, Blood for the Blood God and sort of um, distressed the skin around the bone. And then the big thing was the, the umber washes on there. Um, really popped it alive, and then when that dried, um, it got you know a bleach bone dry brush um, and a little lighter color on some of the higher points. But overall, pretty simple. Very cool. Where did you get the uh, the oil wash? What is that exactly? I've I'm familiar with it, but I'm not sure if everybody knows what that stuff is. Um, so the basics of an oil wash is you're going to be applying oil paints um, with uh, and a mix of oil paints and white spirit um, to the model, and just because it's uh, because of the spirits and because of the oil paint it um it reacts and flows a lot differently um than what you're going to be used to i definitely encourage uh, experimenting with it before um, doing any major projects with it very cool well thanks for stopping by the studio great job on the blightbringer very cool model it's available now privateer press go check them out i'm adam here from bell souls thanks for stopping by man have a good one